So, so to, hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is so great having you here. So today I want to share with you what my fitness journey was like in the span of one year. And by that, I mean me physically going to the gym consistently for a full year. So with that, I am not counting any at-home workouts. I did have a phase where I was testing things and like trying to work out at home, but none of that counts in this fitness journey. This fitness journey is reflecting me going to the gym four to five times a week for an entire year. Now before you guys get on me for my hair looking like a mop, I just want to say that I end up straightening my hair. That's why it has nothing in it and it looks dead and dry. So the beginning. This is the body that I started out with. I wasn't very unhappy with my body. I just wanted to build muscle. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to be more confident in my body long term and I felt like I was very weak. I was out of shape and I didn't feel like a strong, independent woman. I know it might sound strange, but that is how I felt and I wanted to, be I wanted to become a stronger woman. So that is the body that I started with. In the first months or so, I did not see results as fast as I thought I would. But that did not hold me back. I still showed up to the gym consistently. During the first three months, I was going to the gym four times a week. Two of those days were upper body days, and two, the other two of those days were lower body days, so leg days. The first couple months of me going to the gym, even though I didn't see results, I showed up because I was trying to get a routine down. I knew that if I skipped a day or if I pushed it off to the next day, then that would ruin the routine and I would feel more inclined to skip later on. So it is super important to be consistent, especially in the beginning, because at the end of it all, you may not always have that motivation, but at least you're disciplined to keep going because that's what you teach yourself when you consistently go to the gym. And also, I know my hair is a little crazy, but that's because I'm going to straighten it after this. I was going to straighten it during this video, but I think it's going to be distracting. And I'm going to be looking at myself too much, so. A tip for the first few months, um, especially if it's your first month of you going to the gym, I super recommend you going with a friend, especially if you feel intimidated or nervous about stepping into the gym. I only recommend going with a friend in the beginning because you don't want to rely on the friend coming with you or you don't want to only show up with the friend because when they're not available, then you're not going to go. You know what I mean? So I totally recommend going with a friend to ease the nerves, to really figure out what the gym equipment is like, um, see how people use it, see where everything is located, see where the leg stuff is, where the upper body stuff is, where the cardio machines are, what those middle machines are, like what even are those? Going with a friend makes it a lot easier. In this beginning stage, uh, months one to three, as far as my diet, I was trying to reach 130 grams of protein per day. I was doing calorie surplus, so that means that I was eating more than my maintenance calories, and I was bulking. And that is because on social media I saw that to have an enormous ass, you need to eat a lot, and you need to have a lot of protein, you need to eat this many calories, you have to be bulking, and... I mean, it does work, but later on, I find out that that's not what I wanted. So the next stage is months four to six. So this is what I look like after about four to six months of being in the gym. I am still going to the gym four times a week consistently. At this point, I was pretty impressed. Months one to three, I didn't see many results. But months four to six, I was starting to see like my back muscles were popping out. My arms were looking a little more fit. I felt my glutes were projecting, but I still wasn't happy with like the shape of my body. I felt like I was looking kind of like buff and like everything was growing, but not in the right shape. So at this point, I'm still doing two upper body days, two lower body days, and I'm still eating in a calorie surplus and bulking. Shoot, now I think I might straighten my hair while I'm here. I might as well. 
All right, where was I? So months seven to nine. This is what I looked like at this stage of me going to the gym consistently for about seven to nine months. And now I'm going to the gym five times a week. And I only did cardio about two times a week. Also, a big change during this time is that I decided that I didn't want to bulk anymore, or at least not in the way that I was. I started feeling pretty, like, self-conscious, and I felt like I was looking big. And I knew that along the way, like, my body was going to change and it was all going to be worth it. But I decided to do a lean bulk now. So with a lean bulk, I stopped eating in a caloric surplus. So I ate at my maintenance calories and I tried to eat cleaner. I still was eating about 130 grams of protein. But um, I was more conscious about what I was putting into my body, you know, eating more veggies, less carbs, and being more carb conscious overall. Now, months 10 to 12. This last part of the year was a complete flip. I don't know what happened to me. Like, I changed so many things, but it was for the better, and I feel so great now. But this is what I look like at about 10 months, and this is what I look like now. I took this literally this week. So through months 10 to 12, I am way more active than I have ever been. And also, I'm in a calorie deficit and burning way more calories at a time when I'm at the gym. So I'm still going five times a week. I'm still doing that split that I mentioned before. And now I'm doing cardio three times a week at least instead of two times a week. And I'm burning 500 calories every time instead of 300 calories. My diet changed a lot. I started eating way cleaner. I'm super conscious about what I put into my body. I try to eat mostly veggies. I became a vegetarian for a month and then now I became pescatarian and to, to this day I am pescatarian. Now I rarely have any cheat meals and I don't snack really at all. Aside from doing my cardio three times a week and working out five times a week, I also got a new hobby. I started doing pole fitness and pole dancing so that is a whole other thing. It is so tiring. It requires so much strength and mobility. I love it. And I really think that my fitness journey was perfect in the way that everything fell together. And now I feel like I have the muscles and the strength to be a good pole dancer. That sounds bad, but as a sport. And I love where I am at right now. I feel that everything is balanced. I go to the gym, I do my cardio, I do my pole fitness hobby on the side and it all feels right and I love the results that I've been seeing in my body. I feel the happiest with my body than I ever have. <sighs> I just finished two hours later. I had to take a break because it was getting freaking hot in here, getting sticky, but this is my hair when it's straight and lovely. I just feel like straight hair gives you that clean girl look and I feel way too messy with my natural hair so so that was the timeline and everything that I went through within my first year of my fitness journey. And now I just want to give you guys some advice and just some things that I wish I knew back in the day. And some advice for anyone who's a beginner and wanting to start going to the gym. Um, advice number one, uh, bulking is not for everybody. Really know your goals. Um, with bulking, I know that people think they have to bulk because they want And yes, bulking will give you a large tush, but your stomach might feel upside down. Um, you might feel heavy, probably won't feel your best when you wake up in the morning. And that's what, that's what I didn't like about bulking. I really recommend doing a lean bulk. It feels much healthier, it feels lighter on your body, and you will still see the results in a way that is not so harsh on your body and I think it looks better at the end also. Along with that point, I don't believe in dirty bulking. Do not eat random caca, do not eat anything that's on the table. Make sure that you're watching your calorie intake, 
Make sure you're not eating anything too greasy or fatty. Make sure you're not eating fast food all the time. Like, bulking does not mean you're eating dirty. You still have to watch what you eat. Another piece of advice is to really reflect on what you're doing. If you feel like you feel sluggish or you feel bloated all the time, really reflect on what you're eating. Are you eating enough vegetables? Are you having enough fiber? Are you having too many carbs? Are you having too much dairy? I think that we often need to just step aside and listen to our bodies. Find what works best for you in your fitness journey. With that, my next piece of advice is don't compare your body to someone else's because your starting point is completely different than someone else's and don't compare someone's three year mark to your three month mark, right? Be realistic, take your time, be consistent, and just really discipline yourself to be patient enough and keep going regardless if you're seeing the results instantly or not. My last piece of advice is do it for yourself. At the end of the day, the person who is showing up at the gym is you and you're doing this for you. It's your body that you're working out for, it's your gains, it's your goals. Make sure you're doing this for you. Don't do it for a friend, don't do it for a boyfriend, don't do it to feel validated. Make sure you're working out to make yourself feel fulfilled, proud, happy, and healthy. This is your fitness journey, this is your body. So fall in love with the journey and do it for yourself. I'm sure you will enjoy it much more if you do it for yourself than if you do it to prove a point or because someone else told you to. So that is everything that I have to share about my fitness journey and everything that I went through in my first year of being a gym rat. I wouldn't even consider myself a gym rat, but I hope that this was helpful to you and let me know if you would like uh, more videos like this. Let me know if you have any questions. I am so willing to help. I'm always checking my notifications, so I'll make sure to answer you guys' questions. If I was unclear on anything, let me know. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I would really appreciate the sub since I'm so small. Give it a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye, thank you for watching.